Well, as California continues to make it through the worst storm season they've seen in decades, people there are preparing for a new round of rain, snow, and even tornadoes. Throw that in the mix. Structures have fallen or have been destroyed by a lot of the flooding recently, and temporary evacuation shelters are quickly being filled. There's one of those twisters there. Sheriff Mike Boudreaux of Tulare County, California, is with us this morning to talk more about what you're seeing. Uh, Sheriff, thank you. So rain, flooding, snow, you guys have that. You always deal with fires and the threat of earthquakes. Now you talk about tornadoes. That's that's a new one. Well, this, this weather storm that's coming through California is completely unpredictable as compared to what we've seen in years past. Uh, the uh, rain that's coming down with these atmospheric rivers uh, is truly pouring uh, more water than our waterways are used to handle, creating a tremendous amount of flooding. The most devastating is to our farmlands, our farmlands and dairies. I know the dairyman I spoke to just two days ago, they're moving thousands of cows out of there and into neighboring dairies for dry land to protect those animals not to exclude uh, some of the national economic impacts that it could uh, endure uh, with the uh, destruction of ag land, with the uh, issues of milk being produced in these dairies. And then we have a large train rail that runs right through a two-mile stretch of our county uh, that's in danger that we're watching very, very closely and trying to keep that railway open. Yeah, this could do decades and decades of damage to try to get things back online. Sheriff, uh, uh, real quickly, you've had some pretty incredible rescues as we looked at some of the damage. Uh, tell me about some of those that uh, your teams have been involved with, getting people to safety. Well, what happens is, is these roadways uh, get completely uh, encumbered by large amounts of water. And most of the people here driving through these roadways have lived here all their lives and is familiar with these roadways, thinking that they can get through those roadways easily, not realizing the very force of that water that's coming through, the depth of that water. It's very deceiving. And so we have whitewater rescue teams working uh, here in our county. We have one of the nation's top rescue and whitewater teams, but we're also working with Los Angeles County Whitewater Rescue, Orange County, and our local Tulare County Fire Department. And we would have, on average, at the beginning of the storm, anywhere between 10 and 12 whitewater rescues uh, pulling people from their cars because they just weren't ready for that. But there's a lot of feel-good stories, too. I know that uh, the sheriff's office here is when to do anything the fire. We were called to a ranch. There were seven horses that were uh, knee-deep in water with more water coming, and our teams literally walked on foot out to this dairy half-mile in. I'm sorry, this ranch half-mile to a mile in. And they harnessed these horses and walked these horses out to dry land, which was a couple hour endeavor. But there's some good feel good stories, too. And the farmers and ranchers are working so closely together. Uh, it's really a, a community coming together, working in a time of hardship. Wow, that's amazing. We're watching that video of the horse rescue on our screen now, Sheriff. Um, in terms of what you all need right now, are there evacuation orders in place to provide supplies to people who are standing by at the ready when they can return home? We do. We have some people that have been evacuated completely from their homes. Roadways have been completely crushed. They're not able to get in, get out. We have volunteer search and rescue teams, as well as our teams, taking water, food, food supplies into areas that they're completely isolated from. Now, the good part of this story is that we've put some good planning together, working hard with our community. People are paying attention for the most part of these evacuations and warnings, which are so crucial. Uh, we've had zero loss of life. Um, property is our secondary uh, focus, which will come in due time, which there is a tremendous uh, that will need to be done in, in restoring the property. But what we're happy for is the planning and the working together that is sitting to keep them going. Zero loss of life. Uh, that is remarkable. It's great to see because the swath of this damage is so widespread. Have you ever seen anything like it in your career, Sheriff? Not in my career, and I've lived here my entire life. Um, I, I can tell you that the amount of water that's coming here, as you know, California has faced drought for many, many years. And so the waterways just have not been used to this amount of water. Our area used to be the Lindy Pit until it was dammed up uh, with different areas throughout uh, the county and through the Central Valley, just has not been used to this amount of water. And now that we have uh, the historical, what we almost refer to as a three-year storm, uh, of the amount of water that's coming in, uh, it just it, the waterways weren't prepared for it. So we will plan for the future and working with California Water as well as our local 
kind of systems uh, to, to help uh, for the future the maintenance of those waterways. Right. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.